Hello everyone. In this video I'd like to talk about the difference between weight, mass and gravity. Three terms that you come across a lot in key stage three that many people often get confused. So we've got this little sketch of the earth and what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a person just standing on top of it because we're going to use this to explain what those three are. Now clearly a guy doesn't stand on top of the earth like this but for this person here, they would say that they experience a force pulling them down. And they're being pulled to this point here, the centre of the earth. Because gravity is pulling them that way. And someone equally standing on the bottom of the earth would also experience that as down. Because they are being pulled down to the centre of the earth. And that again is due to gravity. So what we're going to do is explain exactly what gravity is and how that is different to weight and how weight is different to mass and how the three link together. Now, each of these people, so if we just take this guy here, this guy here has a mass. Mass is the amount of material that makes an object up. We all have mass and it's measured in kilograms. Okay, so if I, if I zoom this out a little bit, we should have the definitions just below. So, here we go. So, mass is the amount of material that makes something up. So, mass is this one here. Gravity is the force that we know pulls everything down to the earth. So it's an attractive force. It's attracting us. It's pulling us down. It's also non-contact. So a contact force is like a push or a pull when you can experience some contact between two surfaces. Whereas this one, you don't feel it so much. So we call it a non-contact force. Now, the bigger the object, the bigger or the greater the force of gravity. So for example, if you just compare the Earth and the Moon, the Earth is bigger, so the gravity, the pull that the Earth has... Is much, much stronger than that of the moon. So this is what gravity is. It's an attractive, non-contact force between all objects. Even the guy that I've circled at the top in red has a gravity and is attracting the Earth to some degree. Now, when gravity acts on a mass, we then say it has a weight. So the force caused by gravity acting on a mass is the weight. So everything has a mass, and when gravity acts, it gives it a weight. So let's just continue with the unit. So mass was measured in kilograms. Gravity is measured in newtons per kilogram. And that term, or that phrase newtons, with a capital N, that's what we measure the weight in. So weight, the force is measured in newtons. So we've got weight in newtons a mass in kilograms and a gravity in newtons per kilogram. And there's a formula that links these three, and it's actually this, and I'll draw it in blue. So weight is actually equal to mass times gravity. It's that simple. Mass times gravity will give you your weight. Now, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller to just talk some numbers. Now, the gravity on Earth is actually 9.8, if we were to give a numerical value, but often in school you're told to just take it as 10, 10 newtons per kilogram. So let's just go with the number 10. And let's say the, the man on the Earth has a mass of 85 kilograms. So 85 times 10, that would give him a weight of... 850 newtons. Now one of the questions, I know this video is to just describe the difference between weight, mass and gravity, but one question that often comes up is, why are people weightless when in space? And that's because in space, there is no gravity, there is zero gravity. So imagine doing this formula, but replacing the gravity number 10 with zero. So let's just Let's just do that just to see. So we'll, we shrink this, this up a little bit. If we imagine our mass as being 85, that's in kilograms, 
and we times it by zero, when we do that sum, our weight would actually be zero newtons. So no weight. So even though an object has a mass, it has no weight. It is weightless. And that's why you experience that kind of weightless or floating sensation. So that is the difference in this video between weight, mass and gravity. Mass is the amount of material that makes something up. Gravity is the force, non-contact force, between all objects, pulling everything down to the centre of the Earth, essentially in this context. And weight is the force caused by gravity acting on that mass. Okay, thanks for listening.